all right guys so we're pretty much back so welcome back to second and i'm talking to you guys i'm always smiling we're back at the hive um today's video i'm just gonna be pretty much be trying to learn as much as i can from this dude here i've run a few of my own solutions on um sorting on the hive as you guys did see in the last video but i'm gonna see how the hives are doing now what adjustments can be made and what adjustments he might consider making as well so i'm just gonna be standing in the back trying to get some footage for you guys and let you guys know what happens Because they have to feed it within the first three days of the egg hatching out. Right, to make it in order make for it, it to be the queen. Yeah, it's really super, super. A lot of the corn wings in here. I'm on every video keeping 12. Well, let me not say that. First big ear in New York that I've seen like work without gloves. Good, 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 good. Steven, it looks so much better than the other day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, so the last time we came here, it was a double super, but my advice was to drop it down to a single because the top box was a little bit scanty. So just to give the queen enough time to maybe, I don't know, like, for them to huddle up even more so yeah, they can yeah, work it makes better. Yeah, makes sense. And give her time to start laying. So far it looks it looks better than the last time, but let's let's keep going through and see how does it change. to see them in sunlight or to use a flashlight. Yep. Alright, so we're pretty much flat going the yeah. into the second box. So Just to double to check stuff. This box. To see what's happening with the hive. Um, usually we try not to go into the hives too often. But in these situations, like you definitely want to make sure like every step of the way they're doing, they're doing pretty much what they're supposed to be doing. So, what are you currently looking for now, Jarvis? We are signs of lean. Mm. Put this at the top. Exactly, so that, that because you'd have so many hives, you'd be able to just right. take, you'd get a lot of honey eventually. Just moving those frames with half and half honey. Okay. You take the chance and just open up the thing that much. Exactly. So I would want, I would want to go down. I would prefer to put that frame in there. Okay. Which will get the feel. Like within two weeks, it's gonna need another box or no? The, the way they're doing under the, the weather, yeah. And you definitely see they're putting a lot of nectar, not so much pollen. Okay. So you put box on above the excluder. I will make sure that she's done. And why? Why for them? Okay, but this this would have been built up by then. Okay. And so she's gonna need space. Space, I see what you're saying. Okay. Now, if you need some honey, I'll sugar sugar. The coat 
the frames, the plastic frames. All right now, so I'm currently back home. We did do a check on the hive. Um, one thing I can say, like every beekeeper has different like objectives, like they do it in different ways. Um, I did learn a couple of stuff from him or more what I would call reinforcing knowledge. So it's really good to work with someone who is that experienced. Um, now I'm about to combine a hive together, meaning to build it together. Because in the US, they don't have the boxes pre-built. They have it like assembled. And I think that's for shipping purposes. All right, so this is the box assembled. Well, of course it's not glued together. So it's gonna glue together. And it's already pre-drilled, which is cool. Yeah, it's pretty drilled, so we're gonna do that together and clamp it, and then we should be done. Right, my memory card just ran out, so I had to like upload to my computer, but whatever. Um, it's all dried and glued together, so now I'm just gonna. I'm just laughing to myself because my aunt, she said it took her, it took her a really long time <laughs> to nail these in and she was doing this, that's so funny. Now that I have signatured it, there we go. So everything is all flushed together, it's pretty nice. And let's see how long these ones last. Me on top, I'm me on the way. Hey. Anyway guys, remember to see things, love, nature, adaptation, and thank you for being a part of this video today. Beekeeping, woodworking, whatever. See you guys soon.